Today I'm reacting to One Piece. Woo! Okay, so that last episode for Whole Cake Island, what an ending though. That entire Soul Pocus song and Big Mom just coming into the scene like everyone's hero. Except it was weird because, you know, we are not on Big Mom's side. We are on the Straw Hat Pirate side. So I just really want to know, is Jembe okay? Is he still alive? He made the promise to Luffy, but I could just see Oda ripping like our hearts out by killing off Jembe. I don't know, that ending, I am hoping in this next episode they at least explain a little bit what's going on. I wanna find out what happened, but I really feel like they're not gonna tell us the outcome of the fight with Big Mom. I don't know, it could make big news. I don't know, we still have the news guy following around the straw hat, so we're gonna see how that's gonna turn out and maybe they will get information on what happened. It's such a strange feeling watching the ending to that because the Straw Hats are okay, they got out of that, but they left behind everyone that was fighting for them, fighting to let them go, so that in itself is, I don't know how I feel about that. It makes me, it makes me feel weird, I don't know. I was not expecting that ending though. It's a very different ending than most arcs. I mean, we ended off most arcs with them celebrating at the place that they were at, like a big feast, a big party, but now, lives were lost it was so dark and depressing <laughs> the overall feeling of this arc oh just emotions everywhere <sighs> i know i'm still processing everything that happened in that last episode i am just shocked i am so shocked especially when i was going through editing my last reaction and just like re-watching the scenes i'm like that pudding scene i definitely cried again whoever voice acts putting in the entire musical number and it was kind of playing out like a silent movie with the music in the background there was the entire sequence with pudding she erases the kiss from sanji that was really sad and just seeing pudding distraught her crying sanji's a great man and pudding had to let him go let him move forward so I really hope they get to meet again. Pudding and Sanji are an interesting mix that works well together. I don't know if I necessarily ship him with Pudding in the long run, but I really hope Pudding finds someone special because I feel bad. She should have just went off and became a Straw Hat girl. Like, <laughs> I feel like madness is gonna happen there. Especially with the Straw Hats escaping, Big Mom is not gonna like that. <laughs> so. Before I get started with this reaction, I have an Amino shout out. This Amino shout out is to Lorenzo Pinello. I love this so much. It's a half and half of Luffy versus Katakuri. I love how you added the mirror shattering in the background and the shading. I believe this is done in color pencil, maybe paint. But I love also how you provided a video on like the process down below. So thank you so much for this amazing post. I love it so much. It's a very gorgeous picture. Thank you for sharing it in my amino community. Never change, always stay the same and sparkles. I also want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. You guys are amazing. Again, thank you so much for all the support, all the love on YouTube and on Patreon. You guys truly are amazing. And thank you so much for supporting my content. It means the world to me. Sparkles. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get right into this reaction. Let's go set sail to One Piece. Pew. Is that Shanks? <gasps> Shanks! Oh, man. Whoop. We get to see Shanks? It's been so long since we saw Shanks. Ah! Flashback! <laughs> Luffy's so cute! It's like, I'm a grown-up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> drinking juice. Someone did say, like, this next arc is, like, full of flashbacks, but I figured might as well take a trip down memory lane. And Shanks got all wet. <laughs> Oh, that moment when Luffy meets Shanks again is gonna be amazing, and I can't wait. <laughs> oh, man. 
This feels so nostalgic. It's like, boop, boom. <laughs> oh man. Oh, if I remember correctly, this guy's gonna get shot. Yep. <laughs> I remember the guy with, like, the meat. There's Usopp's daddy. So mean doing that to just a little kid. Just imagine if Luffy never got saved and this is where his journey just like ends. <laughs> Karma. Oh. I don't think they ever showed the blood the last time. So, okay, so he uses hockey there, right? Especially with how they, like, I guess back then, I don't know, did they show that the first time where his eye and then it does like black and red thing? Aww. And now you gotta get out of the water because all the sharks will be coming. <laughs> uh, such a beautiful moment though, just for like the start of One Piece, such a crazy beautiful moment. And he gets such an amazing crew. I love how far Luffy has come, though. <laughs> this makes me so happy. <laughs> and the iconic moment. <sighs> Man. That moment never gets old. Like, I love it. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait until that happens. I'm gonna cry when that happens. This could be such a beautiful moment. <gasps> oh, you baby. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it just gonna be everyone in Luffy's life? We're gonna see them be like, what's Luffy doing now? He just got out of Whole Cake Island alive. So <laughs> he's doing crazy things. He works fast. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, there's the cans that German double six has. We is a three on it. <gasps> it has a three on it. Sanji. Oh my gosh. What? <gasps> no. Transform, Sanji! I want to see him transform! Get to see his lovely abs. What the heck? Where? When did he get that? Oh my god. Please say he's gonna keep it. Don't throw it away! He gave it. <laughs> oh, Sanji, just one time. Oh my gosh, Luffy looks like Saitama with that outfit. I want to see Sanji wear it. Come on. No, 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 no. So can everyone just like use it? She is the cloud. She is the cloud. She got Zeus. Oh, Nami's gonna be so powerful now. Does it work for, like, other people? 
I feel like it's only gonna work for Sanji. Try it, Sanji. Oh my gosh, <gasps> is he gonna do it? Oh, please, <laughs> please. Aw, I thought we were gonna see him transform. I hope he does accidentally, <laughs> just so we can see it. Oh my gosh, do we get to find out what happened to everyone? It says that in the paper. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so bad. <gasps> Sanji's body! Does Saint Dead are alive now? <laughs> what? <gasps> it says Vince Smoke on it! It says Vince Smoke on it! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sanji! <laughs> what? Chance <laughs> go to the reverie too? You are a strong girl. Be strong. She gonna go with. <laughs> Look at all the Sanji! <laughs> oh man. I kind of feel bad that it says... Crocodile! Barto! Oh, dude, his bounty is so gonna be raised. What? 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 Wait a second! What? Luffy? <laughs> what? No! Luffy? Luffy! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Luffy! He's a young Oh! Shakes is right so proud! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Okay. Wait! Okay, so... Oh man! Okay. <laughs> Why was Luffy like doomed? Like... He looked upset. Normally he's happy. I'm assuming his bounty is a lot higher. That entire episode made me so happy. But now what? Like, what's Luffy gonna do? He didn't seem too happy. He was sitting over there and it was like, doom. So maybe he's just concerned. Maybe he doesn't want that status. You know what's really funny is him and Law were talking about how they were going through and wanting to take down Dampers of the Sea. So what's that gonna do now if he's considered one? Like, what's gonna happen with that? Akainu's face was not happy about that. <laughs> oh man, Luffy's next level now. I am so excited, but again, Sanji having that raid suit probably is like the answer to my weird prayers. <laughs> I wanna see him transform. I wanna see him transform so bad. I mean, we've seen those transformation sequences. Sanji. You will. I know you will. <laughs> Eventually. I'm so glad they... I was gonna say, I'm like, it was weird that Sanji had that. I'm like, there's no way he actively went and, like, grabbed one. It's so funny that they just kind of hid one with him, so... Oh, that makes me so happy this entire episode. Oh, Luffy. Luffy. Oh my gosh. I think the highlight of it, though, was Luffy. And seeing Shanks at the end, you could tell he's so proud of Luffy. I'm so proud of Luffy. Luffy. Oh my gosh. This was such an amazing thing. And I'm curious what Luffy's bounty is going to be now. Like, they didn't show it. Did he have a wanted poster in there? Like, Sanji had one. I didn't see one for Luffy when they were, like, messing around with the newspaper, so... Maybe he doesn't, maybe they just gave him a status update, but he did take down Katakuri, so... I love how we got to see the Grand Line fleet. We got to see Barjo and Cavendish, and... I mean, it's true, though. Luffy has a lot of strong people backing him up, so it would make sense giving him this Yanko status, so... 
Oh, uh, just Aka Inu's face. He is not happy with that. He's so not happy with that. Just imagine though, back in Marineford when he saw Luffy and Ace, like he probably never just looked at Luffy and was like, yeah, this kid's gonna be a huge trouble in the future. Like obviously he just saw Luffy as taking him out right away. But the fact, I'm so proud of Luffy. I'm so proud. I love the flashback and now even more that we got in the beginning of the episode because it just shows like Luffy back then with Shanks and does this mean he gets to meet Shanks now? Probably not. Oh my gosh, Shanks is so dang proud of Luffy. I'm proud of Luffy. Anyways, enough fangirling. I feel like I've been blabbing on forever. I'm gonna get to the next episode. Again, what's Luffy's bounty? I don't think they said that. I, unless I missed it. Well, if I did, I will see it in editing but I don't think they said it so I feel like that's more of like a pending Yonko status I don't take that as like he's made Yonko but just the fact that they say that he's an emerging emperor of the sea that's a huge step for Luffy and I'm so proud of him I'm so proud of Luffy, Luffy. <laughs> also again I'm trying to figure out where Crocodile is like where the heck is he I can't I don't recognize it's probably not important where he is at right now, but I'm just curious, like, what is Crocodile doing these days, you know? Will they ever see him again? I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. I, like, went back through and, like, panned through the scenes, and I'm like, Crocodile, where are you? Where is he? That's probably not that important, but maybe he'll get to see Luffy again. I like how he's just, like, smiling, looking at the paper. Kind of sad, though, that we didn't get to see Doflamingo. He said he wanted to read the paper down in Impel Down, so I'm pretty sure maybe they'll give him it. I want to see Doflamingo's reaction to this. I feel cheated out. <laughs> I feel so sad. I wanted to see Dofi react to it, too, and they didn't show it. Maybe they're not actually giving him the papers in Impel Down, but... Aww. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see Crocodile, though, and everyone else. I kind of wish they showed Barto going, la 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 Luffy senpai, and like, but it's okay. We got to see a silhouette of Barto. Anyways, I'm going to continue on. Let's go. Yeah, yes. Just imagine being a part of that crew, though. Like, what's Luffy going on about? What? Why did they- What? Why did they decrease his bounty? Why would they do that? Yeah, that literally makes no sense. Did he not read the paper though? What it said about him? That's crazy! With all that he did? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Rebecca! I like how you're like, the attempted assassination. <laughs> crazy how like Luffy ended up on the news twice in such like a short period of time because he had the dress rosa and now uh, I love it <laughs> it's, it hasn't even been a month <laughs> oh my gosh Are they- are they just attacking, like, all of the princess ships? The royal ships? It's like, give me the money! I'll give you the money! Is that Kobe? Wait, is that Kobe? It's Kobe! Oh my gosh! 
Did it? We haven't seen him in a while, have we? And that other guy. Oh my gosh, fucking hot. Something with an H? <laughs> I feel bad. I always forget the other guy's name that's always with him. Look at him. He's so grown up. Wait, so he's a captain now? Kelby, look at him making. Look at him. How, okay, I, I knew it started with an H. Oh, has he been working on it? Because I remember Marine Ford, didn't he? He could, like, hear the voices and stuff. No. No. Look at it. <laughs> Look at how happy he gets when he sees Luffy. Look at how proud he is. <laughs> they're probably like, they're probably like this. His reaction's kind of odd. <laughs> Aww. But a uh, Marine Ford are back way back when they first met each other. I remember Luffy what he told Kobe back then. Are we gonna get that? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is where it all started. This is crazy when you think about it. <laughs> uh. probably looking at it now like Luffy's getting there. Hmm. I I like Luffy's picture too. His hand. <sighs> Again the amount of doubt in the beginning. Their relationship is so interesting. Just the fact that it started out with Luffy and his goal is to become the Pirate King and Kobe's is to become, like, work with the Navy and the government. proud of him. And Luffy. I don't think that they're gonna meet again for a while though, huh? I wonder if we're gonna see the other flashbacks with Oh, this moment, I love that too. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> they just giving him. <laughs> I ship this. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so cute. Oh, Kaido. Oh gosh, I want to see his reaction to this. He's gonna be mad. I feel like he's gonna rip Luffy apart. My gosh. Oh, 
jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh, Blackbeard. Too soon. Too soon. <gasps> we could just see. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! No! Oh my gosh! Do we get to see it all? <laughs> soon, no, soon. That probably doesn't mean any time, like. Probably still have to wait a bit. Oh, uh, hello, Luffy. No, it didn't. That's higher than Katakuri is. What the heck? He's a billion now. Luffy, why did he think that was less? <laughs> oh my gosh, he, read, he couldn't read that right. Oh jeez. Luffy, what the heck? I was gonna say the entire time, I'm like, there's why would first of all them saying he is emerging as a Yonko to drop his bounty that made no sense, but Morgan so <laughs> the fact okay, so the fact that Luffy's bounty skyrocketed, it didn't just go up a little bit, it surpassed Katakuri's. Oh my gosh, I wish we could have seen Katakuri's reaction to that because 1.5 Billion bounty. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm so like energized right now. <laughs> Morgan's. <laughs> Morgan's is crazy. The fact that half of that stuff, everyone's reading it like, okay, Luffy. What, Luffy? That's so funny. That burn. <laughs> oh man, I feel like he's gonna get himself killed now. Like, he's in dangerous territory, especially when you're messing with people like Yankos and Big Mom's not happy. No one's happy except Luffy. <laughs> I can't believe he read it wrong. I can't believe he read the thing wrong. It's so funny. Like the biggest like what the heck moment. Like Morgan's took that and exaggerated it so much. But you know, good job Morgan's. Good job. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> but it's okay because you know what? Luffy deserves that recognition. I don't think that bounty though, that's so high. That is so crazy high. Now he's gonna have a huge target on him. So we'll see how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> Should have figured. Luffy just didn't read it right. My God, <laughs> such a Luffy thing. 1.5 billion bounty. I mean, Katakuri's was only, what was his? 1 billion in like 57? Luffy's he just basically added a billion to his bounty what the heck they're mad too because now big mom's like when did I lose obviously Morgan's went a little crazy with his news article oh my gosh and now his bounty's higher oh and he's heading to Wano Kaido I am so afraid for that moment when Luffy meets Kaido because Kaido probably just wants to take Luffy and like rip him apart and eat him right now. How mad he is. Like you can just hear it in his voice. He's not happy about that. Big Mom's not either. Now I feel like Big Mom's gonna <laughs> exclusively go after Morgan's. This guy, this bird, he just was waiting for any little thing that he could write a story on. So oh, the fun things about journalism. <laughs> Okay, so that Shanks moment was such a tease. I highly doubt he's going to, like, go see Luffy, like, really soon. But I feel like soon means, like, okay, maybe in, like, another year, I'll see you, Luffy. Hopefully it's soon, though, because I really, really badly want to see them meet. I just every time. And, ugh. What I really love about Kobe and Luffy's relationship is it starts out with these two boys. Like, Luffy wants to become Pirate King. Kobe wants to work with the Navy. They go down different paths, but they have like the same goal in mind. They just want to achieve their dreams. So I love that. I love their relationship together. <sighs> Man, just these episodes are really nice. It's a really nice change after 
all the depressing stuff happening in the arcs <laughs> previous dress rosa whole cake island like those were really sad so time to go down memory lane with these episodes which i'm okay with because i like the refreshers and i just like seeing how just how far characters have progressed in their relationship with other characters like i love that so much so <laughs> okay i'm gonna continue on let's go <laughs> oh gosh. It's probably a very dangerous time, especially when you have your rulers like going off and like leaving the island. Peach beard? <laughs> I mean, his color, his beard and stuff is pink. Such an intimidating name, though, Peach beard. <laughs> Oh gosh. She has something. Aww. That's so mean. I swear, if he's just gonna drink it. Well, you're gonna need it now. You lost the tooth. <laughs> Aww. This sounds like a lot what Arlong was doing. It's like, pay up or die. Is he gonna kill her? She is. Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh! What the heck? She landed right in that girl's boobs! What the heck is happening? Oh, she's still touching her boob! <laughs> she is. This guy's a very steampunk look to him. What the heck? Like he's wearing a kilt. Very strange outfit. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> they get a view of his rear. <laughs> oh, who are these people? He's just like raking them up with his trident like leaves. It's like, here we go. Yeah, who, uh, who are you? <laughs> Is that a rabbit? Look at all the crows. A murder. Oh. Huh? Dude, that guy's the same mask as what's that my hero character? Overhaul. Oh, so these are different revolutionary. Okay. Oh, I guess that makes sense. They kind of have like the same style as Saba with that like. Okay, seriously, that guy has like the same mask as Overhaul from my hero. So we got to see other ones. They all kind of have that same style, I guess. So when Saba was traveling on those crows, it was because of that one guy. Yeah, didn't the Blackbeard pirates invade them? Again, very interesting. Monkey D Dragon. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Wait, this is happening in current time, right? 
Okay. Whew. <gasps> Eva! Oh my gosh! Oh, Eva! It's been so long! Oh. That's where they're meeting. <laughs> Because I was wondering, I'm like, since they were attacked, they're all okay. Thank you. He's reading the paper too. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is so cute. Aww. Aww, I smile. And now everyone's gonna know. True, because he was there with them. Oh, that's so precious. Hmm. Declare war. Oh, man. Everyone can be a hero. She just like swing that and now everyone has like confidence. <laughs> He's fighting with sticks and brooms. him down girl <laughs> I love that yeah okay that's pretty that's pretty amazing <laughs> I was gonna say that is a low bounty Did you just crush him? That's very straightforward. Aw, that's nice. Is that like a business card? No. Aw, I like her. Love this. I love this. <laughs> oh. This was such a beautiful moment. I guess this helps you get people on the side of the revolutionary army though. Like if you help them out, they'll be like, "Wow, they're great people." Which they are. So, That'll be interesting. The loudspeaker switch. Still. <laughs> I 
They are not messing around. Oh my gosh, they're going right for the Celestial Dragons, so... Okay, so Betty has a very interesting Devil Fruit ability, which makes sense, like, working with the Revolutionary Army. Because it can bring forth people's, like, inner power. So it basically gives them, like, a confidence and a power boost. I like that, just when she waves the flag. I think it's very fitting for someone working with the Revolutionary Army. I really love the moment where you're giving it to the people, their lives were affected, and having them be the ones to take down these pirates. Love that moment, very great moment. Also, Sabo's reaction to Luffy just makes me so giddy. It's, it's so precious and adorable, and his smile and just how happy he is for Luffy. I just love seeing people in Luffy's lives react to just his bounty increase and everything just how proud they are and how far he's made it so another great episode loving it so it seems that the revolutionary army's main goal right now is to start a war to declare war on the celestial dragon so is that gonna happen really soon they seem very motivated to get on with that so we'll have to see how that's gonna turn out crazy crazy <laughs> anyways i'm gonna continue on let's go Sakazuki. Looks nice. Oh no, please don't show me flashbacks of this. I don't want to... looks nice. <laughs> He needs to chill out. You need to go on a vacation or something. He's just clipping his nails. <laughs> oh, that's a waste of paper. Oh, I hope Luffy gets to fight you one day. No, I feel a flashback coming. I don't want to see Marine Ford flashbacks. <sighs> They're just not going to let us forget that, huh? That's going to be insane. Huh? It's just eating the wanted poster. He's feeding him the wanted poster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's insane. I feel like now it's before it didn't really grow that fast, but now it's just like no, no, I don't want to. Oh no, they're giving us this flashback. I'm gonna get sad again. Moonshine. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Is he still alive? I just want to believe that he's okay and alive after all that. <laughs> Dun. 
Dun, 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 dun. That like noise with this poison. I remember screenshotting that as my thumbnail. <laughs> This makes me sad, though, because you're just reminded on how much he had to go through to save Ace, and then what happened to Ace at the end? It just kills me. Ugh. Oh, man. His devil fruit ability is honestly terrifying. Sadness, mm. Ace. When you see that and see Eva there, it looks like some weird bondage thing's about to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Luffy. And this is where he meant Jembe too. Uh, Jembe. Oh, are you okay, Jimbei? Just think how important he's become in the story, like, when you meet him here, and he works together, and just, like, the bond that they form is insane. And then Crocodile! <laughs> I really want Crocodile and Luffy to meet up again. I really do. Hopefully that happens. <laughs> no, not this moment again. This one broke me. Again, miracles happen whenever Luffy does something. I want to think he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. I don't want to think he died there. That was a tough one. did but then ace oh gosh this entire marine fort everything was just so depressing this was definitely like an emotional roller coaster time like i swear those were hard oh no no <laughs> stop this i can't this is like the saddest moment of my life oh <sighs> Anime wise, I should say. Look at how young everyone is. <laughs> it's crazy seeing like characters before the time jump. Mihawk looks the same though. <laughs> such a weird place for me to end this reaction.
Okay, so I'm gonna end the reaction there. Probably a weird place. I'm sure we're gonna get more Marine Ford flashbacks, which honestly, it only gets sadder from there. So I don't know if I wanna deal with more emotions because the Bonchon sacrifice, that was something that just really got to me. Again, Impel Down and Marine Ford, those were some really depressing arcs. Oh, man, it just shows though, like miracles with Luffy. Again, Luffy does so many extraordinary things. You gotta love him for that. And obviously, the government doesn't like him because he's a pirate and he's going against them. Again, I've said this many times. It's just when you're watching One Piece, normally you side with the good guys, but Luffy, they're pirates. <laughs> But, I mean, there's, like, good pirates and evil pirates. It's not like Luffy and his crew go around killing innocent people. So you look at it, I look at it as that. But, again, when pirates are going against the government, going against the Marines, like with Akainu, yes, he killed Ace, and I hate him so much for that. But, again, he was doing his job. Again, he was just doing his job. And, sadly, Ace, being someone that I love so much, had to pay the price for that. What is so frustrating is Ace could have gotten out of that. Well, he could have walked away, yes. I don't know if Akainu still would have chased him or not, but the fact that Ace took Akainu's bait and he went in there resulted in him getting himself killed. Honestly, people warned me saying, okay, there's going to be a lot of flashbacks. I don't mind it. I, I think it goes with the story well. I mean, you see the past, you see events that kind of triggered future happenings. So again, I don't mind going back and seeing previous scenes that I've seen before. Again, I don't mind it unless it gets worse than what it is right now, but I don't mind it. I actually enjoy it. Um, not the sad flashbacks. I do not enjoy seeing the moments that made me really emotional in the past, but it's kind of a moment to just take a breather and just <laughs> reminisce about the past of One Piece and why it's so amazing because One Piece is amazing. And just seeing how the story has progressed throughout the anime. I'm just loving it so much and I can't believe that I'm almost caught up. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to get to the reverie really soon. We just have to transport the princesses and everything, which again, please say we're going to get a moment where they all like kind of talk about Luffy because I want that. Again, Luffy has changed their lives in so many ways that I am just excited, especially because a lot of people like Luffy. He's saved kingdoms. Like we had Alabasta and we had Dressrosa. So I'm just really looking forward to that. Vivi and Rebecca, their situations are very similar in a sense where, you know, Crocodile trying to take over Alabasta, Doflamingo taking control of Dressrosa and all of that that happened there. I feel like they could definitely have a moment together talking about Luffy. So I'm excited to see that, especially with now what is gonna go down what's gonna happen i feel like they're setting it up to where luffy's going to be a main discussion of the reverie because he's been making big news stories he's been making a lot of power moves so we're just gonna have to see how that's gonna go down and again thank you guys so much for checking out this reaction if you like this video give it a like make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome one piece content and other anime things and as always i hope you all have a wonderful day stay fresh bye.